Good afternoon world from Shargal. This is October people. I recommend not coming to Shargal in October. The weather has been pretty bad. Unless you like surfing and surfing only for the big waves. I don't recommend it. <sighs> mosquitoes, get out. <laughs> I'm fancy driving with mosquitoes. I'm on my way into town to pick up my new Bulo blade, which is the Filipino machete for cutting coconuts. I had one made. It's been really rainy recently, but we know that's what keeps this island lush and green. I need to buy a new battery for this car. I've been trying to use this lockdown time to get this vehicle ready and prepare for when we're allowed to leave the island and do some proper road trips. I fixed the carburetor myself in the end because we're not allowed to leave the village so I just fitted it by myself. I quite enjoy doing little jobs like this to be honest. I'm just so looking forward to the day when we can get out there and explore the Philippines properly. The AC on. I'm starting to like this car more and more. I've noticed actually that here in the Philippines it's actually got an owner's club and everything. It's quite a popular machine out here. And the new carburetor I bought from Lazada actually improved the performance. Sounds pretty good too. Here's the hardware store. I don't particularly want to turn the car off because it might not start again. Got it. Gotta make sure everything is off. I am hoping I'll get a chance to visit the mechanic soon to give the car a proper tune up because it is definitely not running at the right idle. I've done all the tick over screws and everything but it's still running really high. Even with every adjustment made this is as low as I can get it to tick over. So this is the new blade that I went to pick up. We'll be using that to cut open the coconuts. It does need a sharpen. Filipino style, I like it. Alright, let's see if Story's awake. What do you think of this? Look, they made us a little handle as well. Sorry, not a handle, a uh, blade guard. I wasn't expecting this bit. Sheath. Yeah, sheath. <laughs> so let's do an official Bulo Blade unboxing video. <laughs> so I saw this little rusty blade basically for sale in, in the store, but it had no handle. And I asked them, where do I get the handles from? And they said, you can't get them anywhere at the moment because there was a lockdown problem and they can't buy the plastic ones, but they know somebody that can make one. So they've made this handle for us. It took a whole week for them to make this though. Yeah. It took a while. Wow. Obviously, they've made that bit too. It needs a sharpen, it needs a bit of uh, maintenance. While Jay's been on his little errand, I have been preparing lunch while Story's having a nap. And today I've made something a bit different. These are chickpea nuggets, chickpeas, with some garlic and rolled in breadcrumbs these breadcrumbs here which I toasted. These haven't been cooked yet, they are still to go into the oven but I've actually got some homemade fries cooking as well so they need a bit longer and then the chickpea nuggets will go in for about 15 to 20 minutes. I actually made them once or twice before when we lived in central Portugal in our first house there and I'd actually forgotten all about them and last night I was going through the computer bookmarks and I was deleting some old stuff that we didn't need anymore and I have a whole food list in the bookmarks and as I was deleting I saw it so I thought I would try them again we had everything we needed for them the stories had them maybe once before but she won't remember them so it will just be something new and to change up our lunch time a little bit story's been doing some of her workbooks this morning and last night she done this so I thought I would show you because I really liked her answer it's a little all about me She's, she wrote her own name as well we didn't even have to tell her the letters and her favorite color is all the colors so she made a rainbow star and when i grow up i want to be a diver <laughs> i just thought it was really sweet and this is her drawing of her but she also had to draw me and daddy as well with a rainbow <laughs>
gonna try it and sharpen a knife. I've got this combination stone here. Lunch is nearly ready, but Story is still sleeping. I have to say, Story has been extremely good during this lockdown. It's been almost another six weeks. We haven't been allowed to leave our village. And the only thing that she's mentioned that she misses is swimming, especially with Teacher Chi. But considering her age and the circumstances, we've been so proud of her. She really is super at adapting to things. Blade is feeling nice and sharp. I think one thing this pandemic has definitely taught us all is that we should brush up on the skills that make us better humans because you never know when you're gonna be left without something. 2020 has been a year of big change. I think it's time to wake Story up. <laughs> She's been sleeping too long. I can hear a sweet voice in here. Hey, Mummy's in bed too. <laughs> you were supposed to go and get Story out of bed. <laughs> Wait, so I jumped into the puddle. Oh, that looks cosy. <laughs> yeah. yeah? First I went for a play and then I went to bed. Yeah, you played first? Yeah. What did you play? It was called va Vampire Chase. Vampire Chase? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. What did you do? It's quite scary. Sounds a bit scary, you Vampire Chase. Did you chased yourself? Yeah. So you chased yourself? No, I, I chased animals. <gasps> oh. So it's naughty. So you were the vampire? Yeah. Oh, that so sounds like spread. fun. All right, Story, can you smell the new lunch? Yeah. What does it smell like? It smells like poo. Poo? <laughs> does it smell like poo, you naughty? Do you see what it is? Chips. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. <laughs> is that fun? Is that funny because we never have it at home, yeah. And. Nuggets! Yeah, you're cheeky to bring, to bring French fries. <laughs> is that cheeky? Yeah. It's a little bit, isn't it? I thought it would be nice to have a change. Chickpea nuggets and chickpeas. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Only my little chickpea. Wow, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really chippy. How's it feel? It's really chippy. Would you like to try some? Okay. These. Breadcrumbs, toasted. Ooh, ooh. Toasted breadcrumbs. Yeah. Oh, dropping them all over the place. Pick one up and take a bite. Right. Yeah. Right, let us know what they taste like. Mmm, yummy. You like it? And how about a chip dipped in chicken ketchup? See if that's good. Right, dip a chip. This is quite crunchy. Good? Yeah. You like it, yeah? yeah. You happy with mum chips? Yeah. Good. Wow, this one's quite squishy. <laughs> Lunch was a success. Now for the clean up. And Jay's just run outside because we've got a parcel. Looks like two big boxes. All right, this, I think, is our new coffee machine. But I'm quite concerned that I can lift it with one hand. Why on earth is it so light? <laughs> it's really light, isn't it? Unless it's really light, yeah. Unless it's something in there. <laughs> <laughs> just a box of air. Is it a toy coffee machine? No, it's a real one. We got duped by Lazard on it again. <laughs> it was like for a miniature house or something. Yeah. A doll's house. Okay, this is promising. <laughs> Espresso maker. Well packaged, actually. Okay, so there was actually a coffee machine in there. <laughs> Stainless steel plate. It's actually quite nice. The colour matches the house already. <laughs> We've just realised this machine doesn't actually come with a milk jug for steaming the milk. Who remembers when we were living in Portugal and pretty much every day I was trying to do latte art and I think the closest I got was like a tulip. I think I made a messy duck once as well. Messy duck. <laughs> nice. Working our way through this packing tape. And I was speaking earlier about remembering old skills. I'm doing something very satisfying at the moment, chiseling. I have to chisel in grooves so that the invisible brackets don't show and the shelf sits flush against the wall. It's gonna be so satisfying to see this go up against the wall nice and flush. Simple pleasures. Yeah! Oh. I've got, got a nice cuddly caterpillar uh, on top of it. That's nice. Can you cut this off? Sure, okay. <laughs> what do you say, Story? Yeah. I, I like its colour. It is so, nice. So, sometimes they're, they're, they're yellow and blue and some of them are yellow and green. 
that's right, like that one. Do you want to introduce it to the rest of your animals? Yeah. Go on then. Looks cute. <laughs> this is really, really kind. This box is actually sent from Ate, who's in Abu Dhabi right now. You really like this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The squidgy caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. And she'd like us to do a quick shout out to her family. It says, please shout out to Nane, Judith, Arulano Ban, and the family in Himalayan City, Negros Occidental. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, should we go and have a look through the box and see what's there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see more green. That's right. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Rubik's Cube. <laughs> what are you eating down here? <laughs> what's all this? Am I invited? Is it a pretzel party? Yeah, nice. Can I have one? Mmm, <laughs> yummy. We had these at the public show. Yeah, in Burma? Oh, with the breadsticks. Oh, goodness me, oh, you remember a lot. Such a good memory story. Oh. Breadsticks. Still was referring to the puppet show that we went to with my mum in Burma about six months ago before we came to this island. She's got such an amazing memory. You have to see this, people. Oh, so satisfying. Now, just four more of those to gouge out. <laughs> Too big. Nobody can see you. Nobody can see you now, Campbell. Hi, everybody. Uh, I got Chrysalis. I mean, here's Chrysalis and Twinkle, Twinkle Toes. Okay, everybody, bye. Right, it's dinner time. We're all going to eat dinner together tonight. We actually have been paying our local driver, the jeepney driver, to pick up our Lazada deliveries because it's the only way they can bring stuff in. So we just received a Lazada delivery, lots of new stuff in the house to put together, getting a little bit closer to our house tour and Story's birthday stuff has arrived, yes. which is very, very promising. Yep. We're getting a bit worried. Yep, we're still waiting for one gift from us, but that should, that should be here, it's fine. It's, yeah. it's on the way and today I was waiting for the cake toppers. So we've ordered a cake for Story, which hopefully we'll be able to pick up by the time it's her birthday. Yeah, we've just been trying to cover all the bases in some way so that we can pull together something for Story's lockdown birthday, which will be coming up soon. <laughs> that is it from us today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you next time for some more adventures. Bye. Bye.